as I walk through the valley of the shadow. Bam, yo, Joe, hey, what's up? Mikey, what are you doing? You look ridiculous. Bam, yo, I'm a styrofoam cup, yo. You're an aluminum can. Get that thing off your head and get in the recycling bin. Yo, but I'm a styrofoam cup, yo. Mikey, on Okinawa, cans, bottles, paper, and plastic need to be separated and put into recycling bins. No excuses. Yeah, I you guess you're right. There's no getting around it. Recycling is the right thing to do. Just in case you were wondering, yes, this is in fact where your tax money's going. Growing up, we were an Air Force family, so we moved around every couple of years, and sometimes that meant leaving the country, which was cool. I got to see so much of the world. But what do I do if I want to watch SpongeBob in a country that doesn't speak English? Die Aliens projizieren unsere Erinnerungen auf die Umgebung hier. Die wollen uns verwirren. Wow, that Tom Kenny has range. Regardless of the language, I knew what was going on. I had seen these episodes of SpongeBob before, obviously. But what if I was watching something that I had never seen before? Well, thankfully, we had AFN. This is AFN. These channels always played in the temporary lodging facilities, or TLFs, we stayed at between houses, and this is the best way to watch TV. There's only a few channels, AFN Prime, AFN Family, News, Spectrum, Sports, Movies, you get one channel for everything. Also the TV Guide channel, can't forget that one. I get overwhelmed when there's too many options, so only having like six was ideal. I watched a lot of stuff I normally wouldn't have checked out just because, well, that's what was on. You get this or you get nothing. And these shows were random. Occasionally you'd get lucky and they'd air episodes in order on a set day of the week. There were some staples, like I would always watch the previous year's season of America's Got Talent. I watched a lot of the previous week's news broadcasts. Everything on AFN was always behind. You almost always got older stuff. Sometimes they'd just throw on an episode of Jimmy Neutron in the middle of the week at 5am and then never show Jimmy Neutron again. Sometimes they just show a single episode of Naruto in the middle of a story arc where you have no context for what's happening and then never show another episode again. The inconsistent, ever-changing chaos of AFN was incredible and regular television can't compare. There is truly nothing this spectacular. Now AFN is non-profit, meaning they can't air normal commercials, so... What do they fill those gaps with? That's... an option. They had to fill that time with something, so they made low-budget AFN commercials. Some of them giving helpful information, some of them advertising stuff on the base you're stationed at. Let's start with those. Military bases have their staple stores. AFES, the Army and Air Force Exchange Service, is your all-in-one general store. Clothes, electronics, toys, furniture, it's like a smaller, safer Walmart. These are typically just called the Exchange. When I was a kid, it was called the BX, or Base Exchange. So it's important to us. APHIS, the military family's preferred place to shop. Then you have the Shopette. This is the base gas station where you buy your Dr. Pepper. There are commercials telling you to go to the on-base library too. Now I went here all the time. Our TLF didn't have unlimited internet, so I went here to play Flash games on the computers, browse the Nintendo 3DS eShop, and download the newest Angry Birds season updates on my iPad. Now I know what you're thinking. Tad, that's so lame to go to the library just for their free internet. But don't worry, because I also checked out Super Mario Galaxy 2 for the Wii, Get off my back. And of course, the commissary. These are your big on-base grocery stores, and sometimes the only place where you can buy American food. Some of our food is just too good that other countries outlaw it, making it a commissary exclusive. It's always been funny to me that they make commercials advertising the only stores you can go to, but hey, we got some really magical stuff out of it. You reaching for them there, Cocoa Puffs boy? Uh, it's because, well, um, the cereal... Don't worry, guys, we got plenty to go around for everybody! The main base commissary, it's Dino Mike! But not all of them are advertisements for base stuff, some of them are just here to give you good advice. The iconic BAM I'm a Styrofoam Cup Yo with Gangster's Paradise playing in the background is a classic example of teaching us about recycling. There's also a lesser known sequel to this one where the cups explain why sexual harassment is bad. There's a lot of health related ads, you know, if you chew tobacco you'll become a skeleton and die instantly. But a lot of these are extremely specific, or just weird. How to not be a target for terrorists while traveling overseas. 
please. How to not shake a vending machine and die after it crushes you. How to not shake your newborn baby. Oh, I was gonna do that. Oh, thank you, AFN. Some of these you really just have to see for yourself. Like, me trying to describe them to you is not gonna do them justice. You know what time it is? What? what do you mean? Community service. Banned from APHIS. Restricted curfew. Hey, we're going to Burger King at 8 to get some dinners tonight. And then we're gonna go to a movie at 9. Wanna come? I can't. My curfew's at 8 and I'm banned from APHIS anyway. Man, are you serious? That's lame. Yeah, I know. Breaking curfew wasn't worth all this. I love how specific these are to military families, though. Like, try explaining to anyone else all the commercials about not being overly American in other countries because you'll annoy the local residents and also be hunted down by terrorists. What are you talking about? When I watched Spongebob, I got commercials for Apple Jacks. But it wasn't all terrorism, there were some really nice and wholesome ones, too. A bunch of these are encouraging you to get out of the house and travel somewhere. You know, if you're stationed in another country, make the most of it, go experience other cultures. Moving can be a scary thing sometimes, but keeping a positive attitude will help your family stay positive, too. These are some of my favorite AFN commercials, because this life had a lot of really cool aspects to it. Speaking of the extremely specific ones, here's a whole commercial about marrying someone from another country. Oh, he proposed with a fortune cookie, that's so sweet. We'll have to get you a US immigration visa and passport. Oh, so romantic. Ooh, if you're planning to marry a foreign citizen, visit your personnel office. There was this commercial with a cartoon chicken teaching us how to handle a global pandemic. Washing our hands, staying home when sick, covering your nose and mouth. This was made in like, 2008. It would have been really cool and awesome if people listened to the cartoon AFN chicken. And the AFN bar of soap who taught similar lessons. We'll be right back with more AFN nonsense. <laughs> A farts. This looks like a job for Off Limits Man. man! That's right! You know you shouldn't be driving on this road! But I'm gonna be late for work! It doesn't matter! This road presents a danger to large government-owned vehicles! Golly darn! You're right, Off Limits Man! Thanks, Off Limits Man! Anyway, one of the most important things to always keep in mind is OPSEC, or Operation Security. Look at this creepy guy who knows all of your personal information! It looks like you didn't practice good OPSEC. How embarrassing. Thankfully, Squeakers the Mouse is here to teach us all about it. This enemy cat is hacking these mousies' emails. Thankfully, they practice OPSEC awesomely and didn't give out any sensitive information through email. If you see something suspicious, report it. Don't lose your ID card, what if someone steals your identity? Watch what you say in public, because that information could be leaked and used by the enemy. OPSEC, it's everyone's responsibility. No animals were harmed in the making of this commercial. They made a bunch of these little mouse and cat OPSEC ads, and these are a good example of why I love AFN commercials so much. These don't really need to exist, but dedicated people made them anyway, putting effort into little sets for the mice and bunnies. Sure, most of these commercials are really low quality, but they're really charming. These were always a highlight of TLF living. I admire the passion behind these weird little ads, by far my favorite military propaganda. Sadly, because the viewership for AFN was so limited, and because why would anyone care? Most AFN ads are lost media now. There wasn't a huge effort to preserve these cheaply made commercials. I will try my very best to describe some of these lost commercials. These are from early 2014. Okay, so there's this ghost haunting this couple's house, and he's telling them to go explore and visit the local castles, saying it's such a waste to spend their time in another country just watching TV. After they leave, he's happy to have the house and television to himself. What a funny guy. There was an OPSEC ad where this guy comes up to someone's desk and says, Did you connect this Wi-Fi thing into the network? And then starts furiously shaking his finger at the other guy. There was another one where they had fake LMFAO doing some party rock bit. I can't remember what is for, unfortunately. If somehow anyone rediscovers these, or any of the others from like 2012 to 2014, please let me know, because I need to see these again. They're wonderful. There's plenty of older AFN ads on YouTube. There's a few people out there trying to preserve these for future generations, and that's great. I'm all for the preservation of art, no matter how poor the production. Some of these channels are uploading a few times a week still, so I'm hopeful that some of the ones I remember will someday pop up. 
Watching AFN was an experience like no other. You really just had to be there. Unfortunately, I think the only way I can watch AFN now is by enlisting and hoping I get sent out of the country. That's okay. But at the very least, I can help keep the art of AFN commercials alive. The main base commissary, it's Dino Mike!